Hi guys, I'm Nazim Hassan, and this video will highlight uh, the design and simulation of a multi-material in itself through MATLAB codes. So there is an inherent feature of CSD where we can invoke CSD platform through MATLAB script files and even without opening CSD platform we can design and simulate the structures through MATLAB script files. So this video particularly will design a metamaterial in itself which is a split ring resonator and I will show you how we can do it through MATLAB codes. So in order to uh, initiate this project you have to download two files. Number one is a MATLAB script file and the second file is a zip file that is the CSD API file necessary to run the MATLAB script file and invoke CSD platform through the codes. And my good friend from uh, Greece, uh, Simon Simonidis, has helped me to write down these codes. He's right now working with Professor Estelius. And you can download these two files from these links or this one. Any of the above links will work. So just uh, visit any of them and download it. Well, uh, open the MATLAB and then check your directory path. And then browse to the directory path. So this is my directory path. And you have to uh, copy and paste the downloaded file here. So these are the two downloaded files. The first one is a it's an M file and the second one is the zip file. You have to extract the zip file here. Okay. Now open the MATLAB script file. So this is the file from which we invoke CSD and uh, this file will have all the necessary commands that uh, will be uh, required to run the metamaterial in itself. So uh, you have to copy this path, this directory path, and you have to insert the path here because this is the path for your CSD API file. And don't forget to add one more thing, CSD MATLAB API master. Okay looks good. Now uh, you can see that through this uh, line of code we have invoked CST platform and then we have defined the unit. I have defined micrometer as a unit. Okay. And this is the minimum and maximum uh, frequency range for simulation. And this is the boundary setting for metamaterial in itself. Along the x-axis I have defined open boundary. And then along the y-axis I have defined the perfect electric wall PC. And along the z-axis the perfect magnetic wall or PMC boundary condition. So these are the boundary conditions required for simulation of a metamaterial in itself in order to mimic the periodicity. And this code is for the substrate and this is for the back conductor, the uh, wear that we place beneath the substrate. All right. And the rest of the codes are mainly uh, for geometrical object creation. You can uh, go through them and you can understand it very well. There are a couple of I mean uh, coordinate settings and the name definition of the object. That's it. This is not that much complicated code. And these codes are for the port creation. There are two ports. All right. Define at the boundary of open settings. And this one is the time domain solver with accuracy of minus 40 dB. And then I have to run this script file and automatically CS2 will pop up and simulation will begin. I haven't opened it. 
it has opened automatically and everything has been uh, I mean created the geometry and all the settings are automated through those codes so this is the automated uh, structure that we created through MATLAB code okay so you can see the two ports defined at the open boundary settings and I will pause the video and I will come back when the simulation is done alright the simulation is complete now and then we can check the permittivity, permeability, input impedance and refractive index of this metamaterial unit cell and for that you have to go to results template and make sure you select this extract permittivity and permeability from S parameters and from here make sure you select this S11 and S21 and then define the thickness of the material I mean the substrate because the substrate thickness is 1.6 millimeter and I have defined a unit of micrometer that's why I have defined it 1600 all right and then if we press evaluate then the uh, all the required graph will appear so this is our real part of epsilon and this one is the permeability let's rescale the plot to see it properly yeah okay so uh, these are the, uh, these are the two curves for permeability and permittivity you can see in this range of frequency both permittivity and permeability are negative all right So, if we uh, want to have some more option, for example, if we want to change the thickness of the substrate and calculate the permeability and permittivity again, then, for example, this is a thicker substrate, and these plots are for the thicker substrate. This is the permittivity and permeability plot. And again, we can rescale the plot for proper visibility and a little bit change for the thicker substrate. This is for, and here Z and N are impedance and refractive index of the metamaterial in itself. So, pretty much you can get all the curve in this folder okay so thank you very much for watching and if you have any question you can post them below